Hey there guys and gals, my name is Luke. This is the Military Surplus channel known as the Outdoor Gear Review. On my back I have the Italian Combat Rucksack 360. Now folks, this episode is made possible by Swisslink. Swisslink is a military surplus provider. They have their website and they are awesome folks over there. Great deals, lots of products. Make sure to check them out. They sent this in to me to show off to you so we could have Military Surplus Wednesdays. Oh yeah. I have to say that I have been privately purchasing from them for years. They really are a great site. So with that being said, let's take a look at this pack right here. It has some awesome features, which you would not expect in a pack this inexpensive. How inexpensive? $60. What's that right there? That's right external frame. So with the Italian Combat Rucksack, this is a good size pack. This pack is actually loaded up with a full trip's worth of gear. You know, the sleeping bag, the pad, the tent, clothing, everything else. Everything that you can imagine that you would need for an overnight trip or multi-day trip is in this pack right here. And it handles the loadout very, very well because of that external frame. We will come back to that in just a minute. Now, when it comes to the size of this pack, I'm not real certain what it is. I can tell you that all of my gear fits inside of this pack and there's a ton of room left over. So I'm going to estimate between 65 to 75 liters. That's a rough estimate. Like I said before, all that I do know is that it's cram pack full and there's still a lot of space left. When it comes to the measurements for this pack, it is 26 inches high, it is 12 inches wide, and it is 10 inches deep. When it comes to the side pockets, they are 15 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 3 inches deep. When it comes to weight, you were looking at 4.5 pounds, and as I mentioned, this is $59.95. 60 bucks at Swiss Link. Now this is a very unusual pack and I have never seen it before. As you all know, when it comes to Military Surplus, the Outdoor Gear Review has the most reviews of anyone on YouTube. Now with this pack here, it definitely has some cool features. So let's get a little bit closer. Let's take a look at it. So starting right here, you have the grab handle. And as you can see there, it's just a nylon strap. Very, very simple, but it's definitely strong, right? All right, we have the lid here. Now check this out. You see these right here? Essentially, these are like a form of strap keeper. Check that out. That way you can attach a sleeping pad, a tent, whatever you want to on top. That is a really, really cool feature. So above that, you have a zippered compartment right here, which is very good size. This can hold an entire mess kit and stove. As you can see there, that pocket is huge. That offers you a lot of space. So going down, you have two buckles here for the lid, and here is the expandable top. You do have a draw pull. Very good size. You can see there that this pack can really expand. And even with my loadout, there's still a lot of room left. But before we go inside of the pack, Let's take a look at the external features, shall we? So here are the straps. You have plenty of webbing for those, so you can even fit more gear underneath this lid. Now, as you can see here, you have two buckles, and then you have two more buckles down here, and that's for an attachment. You can find an add-on pouch, which connects right to the front. In the middle of the pack, you have some elastic webbing, which you can use to cinch down additional gear on the outside, right? You have a loop right here for additional tools, and so on. You have another loop at the bottom. Going to the side of the pack, you have some webbing right here to attach some gear. You have a lidded pocket with buckle, and this is a good size pocket. You can easily fit a one liter water bottle in there, or whatever else you may want to add it. Like I mentioned, very good size, right? Flipping the pack around, you can see that you have the same sort of pocket on the other side. Here, I have attached my ax. This is a really cool feature to this pack here is that there is a sleeve behind that pocket. So you can carry your ax just like so. So when it comes to features on the front of the pack, that's pretty much it. There is nothing on the bottom. We will go ahead and take a look now at the harness and the suspension system. This pack has all of the features that you would expect with a modern military pack. 
padded shoulder straps. You have lots of webbing here so you can attach anything that you want to. You do have load lifters. That's pretty awesome. There is no sternum strap, as you can see here. You can, of course, add one if you want, right? Elevated padding here for the back. Here's the frame. Now, this is a plastic frame of some sort, but it does a great job of controlling the weight and the loadout inside of this pack. Now, when talking about this frame, take a look at the shape here. As you can see, it's rounded, and that keeps your gear away from your back. It's a very well thought out system. Going down, lumbar pad, very basic waist belt, but it functions very well. Before we go into the inside of the pack, which is very, very simple, essentially what it is is just a large size rucksack pocket. There's nothing else in there, right? There's no sleeves, no hidden compartments, nothing like that. I wanna talk about how this pack handles your loadout. It's different than many packs out on the market today. Instead of having all of your gear pulling away from your back, right? It is being distributed along your back. So see how wide this pack is, right? It's definitely a different way of carrying your gear and I happen to like it because this pack is much more comfortable than many military packs that I have tested out. So let's go into the inside. I will pull out everything I have inside of this pack here. I have a three plus season tent, fire kit stove, my miscellaneous kit, first aid kit, all that stuff. This is my battery kit, power kit for phone, GPS, all that good stuff, headlamp. Three to four season clothing bag, sleeping pad, down quilt. So going in for a look here, as you can see, this is just a large size pocket. There's no sleeves, nothing at all. So as you can see there, everyone, this pack can easily carry a lot of gear. Definitely an overnight trip's worth, definitely multi-day. You could probably push this as far as a week, maybe even longer, depending on what you're carrying with you, of course. This pack right here really has impressed me. Not only is it very well made, right? The price is excellent. It has that frame in the back that really makes this pack comfortable. All of these features wouldn't matter if this pack was uncomfortable. And luckily, it is comfortable. It really is. With a 30 pound loadout, this pack is comfortable. That's pretty impressive. So with this pack here, what do I think about it? What do I think about its purpose? Backpacking, for sure. For bushcraft, this may be one of the better packs out on the market. I mean, it has all of the functions, bells and whistles that you need. You can easily carry your tools on the outside. It's very, very well thought out. And as I mentioned before, it's extremely comfortable. It really is. So far, I thought I would miss the sternum strap, but so far I have to say that it's not a big deal. You can, of course, add one in the future if you want to. Now, when it comes to purchasing one of these packs, I have only seen them at Swisslink. I've never seen this on eBay or any other military surplus site. So if you're interested in one, you better act quick very limited quantities of these packs. These are used, right? These are not brand new, but this one here at least is in great condition. Love the fact that you can carry your ax on there. That is so sweet, very sweet. All right, folks, for Military Surplus Wednesday, that pretty much wraps it up. That is the Italian Combat Rucksack, and it's a winner. Made from nylon materials, very strong. Oh yeah. A big thank you must go out to Swisslink for making this possible. Make sure to check out their website. They have a ton of gear, right? I mean, a ton of military surplus. So check them out. Good folks, good prices. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I'll see you guys next week.